Don't mind the hole in the shirt. We're about to wrench today. The goals for today, I want to pop the valve cover off of the K24 and just inspect the internals, make sure that the head is somewhat clean. Also, I want to show you guys the three lobes on the camshaft to pretty much determine whether or not it's a true IV tech engine. So luckily I had like a waterproof cover. Make sure no water got like on the top of the motor or on the motor at all. Everything is dry for the most part. There's a little bit of condensation and moisture up on the top here, but I don't think that's gonna kill anything. To get the valve cover off, honestly, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is remove this top cover, we gotta remove all these are 10 millimeters. You got three on the front, four on the top, two in the back right there. So once we remove all those uh, and probably a few other things, we can just pry up on the side here and then we should be able to crack the valve cover so that we can see the internals, how everything looks, the timing chain. It sucks because I have to do this all manually because I can't find my freaking adapter, my half inch to a three eighths adapter for my Ryobi so this is going to take a little bit longer so, Don't want to lose any of these uh <clears throat> these little 10 millimeters or we don't want to lose any grommets or anything drop nothing on the ground because we'll have sand and contamination i forgot one rookie <clears throat> what a noob what a rookie freaking noobs man just don't even know what he's doing when he's working on hondas clearly carbon scraper pry bar i forgot another rookie move Pull your dipstick, guys, okay? Wow, two rookie moves. Two rookie moves, guys. This should just be banned from the K-Series gang. Already. Okay, that's prying off. First episode in the series, and you're already messing up. Look, now you can say I did something. Let's see it. Are you mad right now? I popped the valve cover off, guys. <clears throat> As you can see, for those wondering, RBB head, I have the three lobes intake and exhaust that's how you can determine it is a true iv tech head you can see everything's clean it's the rbb vtc i'm kind of like a little annoyed right now because i mean even though it is clean in some spots you guys can see that there is some sludge build up down below right there but i don't think it's going to like kill anything but then again, I thought it was going to be a little bit cleaner on the inside. I mean, a little bit of TLC, I guess things thing will clean up. Maybe run some synthetic, but I will tell you off the bat, I'm not messing with, I'm not just going to throw this thing in there and not do a timing chain or a timing chain tensioner. And I'm probably going to do guides. Um, I definitely have a beefy lower guide that I'm going to show you guys and some like other videos but i'm definitely going to be doing the timing chain and uh yeah making sure everything is up to date here getting cam pins guys the cam pulse plates back here so i can do the timing myself without anything moving so you're going to get the two i'm getting the two pins that insert into here on each side of the pulse plates there's a little bit of sludge down in the back there i mean on the plus side guys this thing was super it was cheap kind of and um you know it is a true VTEC. obviously you guys can count the uh the lobes camshaft right here you got the intake in the front obviously and then the back is the exhaust so apparently on the uh the odyssey absolutes and the tsx k24 a2s 
the exhaust cam is superior but the intake cam is less and i don't know if that has anything to do with the vtc but i can always do like a little hybrid if i wanted to rip the k20z3 apart but i can swap the um the z3 camshaft but i really think all i'm gonna do is swap out just the vtc right there there's a little bit of sludge on the bottom there but you guys can see i mean the camshafts look good i pulled out a couple spark plugs i mean i don't think i'm gonna have issues but like i said when the time comes i want to pull the chain off and uh the tensioner and that's pretty much it so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I'm probably going to document this whole thing. So shoot your comments down below, guys, and be sure to give me a like. More videos coming for you soon. Got the K24A right here. So I'm probably going to tear down some accessories today. You know, maybe the power steering pump. A lot of this stuff I can sell. I'm going to measure the, uh, actually, I'm going to measure the throttle body real quick just to see exactly what year it is. Because I know the 0405 is at a 60 millimeter throttle body, and the 06 to 08 have a 64 or 65 millimeter throttle body. So let's measure that real quick. <laughs> you guys can see I made a mark right here too on the harmonic balancer or your crank pulley. Uh, the bolt, this thing is on there so tight, guys. I'm going to have a problem with that thing. I know I am. So I still want to change out the mount. I got to get the. Uh, CRV mount and then we got our ratchet down here on the crank and I'm just seeing how everything operates and I want to let's see if this thing's in time so to pretty much time a k-series I've done this like once or twice all right so to time a k-series on the top TDC there's two cam line marks right there pretty much so what you're going to do is rotate your cams your gears until they get exactly they're horizontal right across from each other and as you guys can see this thing is like dead in time and then up top here the timing mark obviously you always want it to be in between uh the two chain links you guys want it to be in between two chain links and it's usually covered or it's colored from the factory in orange and stuff and it's just for easy installation so once I get those once I get those cam holders this thing's actually gonna be easy to adjust the timing with and do the whole timing chain kit so I'm pretty happy with it confident in terms of all this stuff I will see all of you guys in the next video remember to like comment down below on what you guys think on the k24a let's see i'm guessing this is i don't know i'm gonna say that this throttle body is probably the smaller one i think this motor is like an 04 or 05 but i'm not 100 percent sure so there's only one way really to find out really prying this silicone hose off right now all right there we go Looking at about 2.5 inches, honestly. Holy crap, that's bigger than I thought. All right, I just did the conversion, guys, from inches to millimeters. 2.5 inches transfers into 63.5 millimeters, so it's 64, technically rounded up. So I have the newer Odyssey Absolute motor. I think it's anywhere from like the 06 to 08, so this is the superior version. 60 millimeter, which is 2.3 inch or something. So I think this is the newer, the newer absolute motor. So I'm freaking stoked. And you can see inside my throttle body, it's literally all like, I think that's like dried up coolant or something. This thing definitely needs some like TLC guys cause the throttle body is absolutely filthy. Remember, never stop wrenching. Thank <laughs> you.